We're going to go into the mail application, of course, and we'll pick on the inbox. So it's starting to be towards the end of the year, and maybe you want to give yourself a fresh start for the new year. So let's uh, talk about ways how we can manage your inbox. So understand you can sort on any one of these columns. So in all of Outlook, when you click on the column heading, then you can click on the column heading. It'll sort by that column. All right. So uh, just remember, you can sort on any column like that. Now, if I click on the column a second time, it'll sort in reverse order. So if I pick on uh, the word received right there, that'll be the receive date. One thing that you might want to see is if there's any older emails. So if I pick on the word received a second time, now the newer ones will be at the bottom and the, the old ones will be up top. So I'm going to expand that column. See how I have the black cross. And then I see uh, some are from 2017. So maybe I can uh, delete those or make a folder uh, for those older ones. So why don't we do that? Why don't we make a, a folder? So to make a folder, I'm going to write, there's numerous ways to make a folder. Uh, I'm going to right click on my email address over here and I'll pick another new folder. So I'm going to call the folder uh, 2017, for example. And then I'll move the ones from 2017 into that folder. So one thing that you might want to do to manage your email is to uh, sort it by the receive date over here. And if I see some that are older, then maybe I can put those into a different folder and get them out of my inbox. Uh, you know, make sure that I've, I've processed those emails. Uh, so that, that's one thing that we can start to do. By the way, you can pick more than one at a time. If I click on this email and then holding down my shift key, I can scroll down and then pick on this one. And now all of those are selected so I can move them all at the same time. So now remember, you can sort on any column by clicking on the column heading. Now, uh, I've been showing you how to sort the email the normal way. You can just click on the column headings. Well, let's do an advanced sort. So to do an advanced sort, I'll pick on the view menu. And then you come over here and you pick on view settings. Good. And I'll pick on the word sort. Now you can sort by up to four fields. Okay. So let's say I want to sort it by the person who sent it to me. That's the from. And then within the person who sent it to me, I want to sort it by the receive date. You could have up to uh, four sort fields and each one can be ascending or descending independently. So we'll click on OK. And we'll click on OK again. Now, notice what happened. They're now sorted by the person who sent it to me. And then, we, like, here's a... I actually did some work for the Department of Defense a while back. And uh, so you see some emails that say DOD. And then within the DOD, it's sorted by the date that it was received. Let's scroll down further. And then um, here are some from Microsoft. So I have Office 365. That's how I get my Outlook and Excel and all the other programs. And then you can see they sent me bills. So the, all the ones uh, that say Microsoft are together. And then within Microsoft, it's sorted by the date. So you can click on the column headings and sort by those. If you want to do an advanced sort, you pick on the view menu and you pick on view settings. And then you're back to this screen. I'll pick on sort. And then you can sort by up to four fields now. Now, if you want to return it back to the normal sort order, I'll say clear all. And then we'll click on OK. Now, the normal default sort order is going to be by the receive date when it was received. OK, now you can see the newer ones are up top and the older ones are at the bottom. Now, another thing that helps you with that is if we group the emails together. Let's, let's turn a group on. Right now, the groups are not on. So I'll pick on the view and then view settings. You go back to here and then we'll pick on the word group by. So I'm going to say automatically group according to how it's sorted or by the arrangement. Otherwise, you can pick your own group fields. 
So let's see what's going to happen. Uh, so now let's try that again. I'll pick on view settings, group by. So actually I'll uncheck that and I'll pick on um, the received. So even here you can have up to four group levels. Now watch what it did. See the ones that say um, to, uh, September 20th. So I can just collapse that whole section or re-expand that. So uh, I like that feature. So in this case, uh, let's, let's do it by the who sent it to me. So I'll pick on the view and view settings. And for the group by, I'll pick on um, the from who sent it to me. Okay, good. So now all the ones from the DOD are listed together. Now I can collapse that entire section and collapse this one. You see, it just allows me to handle all those as one big uh, item or one big group. So I see the ones from Microsoft. I could just collapse that whole section or re-expand those. So that helps you manage your inbox as well. Now, some people like the groups and some people don't like the groups. So if you want to turn the group uh, graph off again, if you want to turn the group back off, I'll pick on the view menu and I'll pick on view settings. I'll say group by, and then I'm going to say um, clear all. That should make it so they're no, no longer grouped, as you can see. Personally, uh, I'm not wild about the groups, but I know some people like to use that. That's how you can turn uh, the groups on and off. I mean, now, if you notice in my emails, let's go back to some of our slides and see where we are with that. So the six types of emails to keep out of your inbox. Um, so I'll show you how you can turn your spam folder on. Uh, I just showed you like the ones that are maybe older, how to get rid of those. Anything that's no longer needed, maybe we'll put those into folders. I'll show you, you know, more about the folders very soon. Uh, if, it, if it's an email that is uh, CC to a lot of people and it doesn't require action by you personally, then I'll put that into a folder. If it's already been read, I'll put that into a folder or if it does not pertain to you. So in my inbox, I, I try to keep the ones that I have not read yet or things that need attention. So, um, you know, when I'm handling an email, do I need to file it? Do I need to delete it? Does it need an action? Okay. Now, if it needs to be followed up on, do I need to do it now or schedule for the follow up? And if I schedule it for follow up, there's a way to actually remind you about that. And then where am I going to put it? Am I going to put it in the folder or delete it? So it's rules as you need. And then if I come down here, I can then check those or uncheck those. So if I uncheck them, they will all turn off and uh, you can also delete them over here so you can activate them by checking them or you can uncheck them at this point i'm going to click on ok now all of my emails should go back to a normal color as you can see because i unchecked the conditional formatting okay now uh, i talked about how to sort and then we did the multiple sort i talked about how to group the emails uh, let's talk about how to find the emails. So when you're in your inbox or just about any other folder in Outlook, we can always come over here and you do a search. So I'll type in the word Microsoft and you can search for one word or a phrase. Now this time it's going to show me all of the emails that have the word Microsoft either in the, um, the body or the sender. Uh, see how this one's in the in the sender or the subject or in the body of the email. This is probably in the body. Yeah, see how the word Microsoft is in the body. So I can just search for any word up there. Let's search for um, Bill. And then it'll show any, any way to have the word Bill there. All right. So we can always do that. Now, just like we could do an advanced sort, we can also do an advanced search. Let's see how we can do an advanced filter. Now to turn your filter off, I'm going to come over here and pick on this X and then everything is back again. 
Some people forget to do that sometimes. You want to make sure you click on that X to get all your emails back again. Let's see how we can do an advanced filter. So I'll pick on um, the view menu and we'll do view settings again. And then over here, it says the word filter. Then you can go a lot further with the filter. So you can search for certain words, either in the subject or in the subject in the message body or the frequently used fields. You can do a search by who sent it to you or who the email was sent to. And then also you can do it by a date range. So in this case, if I could say received, then I can say yesterday, today, in the last seven weeks, last month, this month, okay? So this first screen gives you some, um, some filters. Then I'll pick on more choices and you can go even further. In, in a little while, I'll talk about the categories. Uh, uh, you can search on those. Now in this case, you can search for the, the ones that are read or unread. You can search for items with attachments or no attachments. You can say, you know, if they're marked as important or high or low importance. Uh, the ones that are flagged. I'll show you what that means pretty soon. And then we could also find it by the size. So let's see if I have any that are greater than. Now they're talking about kilobytes there. So if it were more than 500 kilobytes, uh, how, about, how about 100? More than 100 uh, kilobytes then that would be start to be pretty big. So let's even try these. So I want to find any of the emails that are greater than 100 kilobytes. And there's a couple of them you can see by the size over here. All right, so maybe at that point those have attachments or maybe you want to um, get rid of those or archive those or put those into a folder. Now the filter is still on. Let's go back into the advanced filter screen. So I'll pick on the view menu and I'll pick on view settings and then I'll pick on the word filter again. Now I'm going to say clear all. That one was under more choices and I said the size, you know. Now let me show you how you can go even further than that. I'll pick on the word advanced. With this you can put multiple criteria in. So for example, let's say if I want the from, the from that contain the word Microsoft now you're going to come over here and you pick on the word add to the list so that it's up here. Then I can keep on adding more and more. And then I want to have uh, the subject contain the word uh, billing. So I want the from to contain the word Microsoft and then I want the subject to contain the word billing. And I'm going to pick on add to list there. So when I pick on the advanced tab, then you can go a lot further. You can uh, have as much criteria as you need. So I'm going to click on OK. We'll click on OK. Now notice how all the emails have the word Microsoft in the from, and they all have the word billing in the uh, subject. So now I can just deal with those as a group. So maybe I would move those to a special folder. So these are all great ways to uh, manage your emails. The sorts, the filter, maybe that group by, maybe the conditional formatting to help you you know, get a handle of your emails and then maybe from there you can put them in a folder or delete them or whatever you have to do. Now this time the filter is still on. To get all of my records back again, I'll pick on the view and I'll pick on view settings and then I'll pick on the word filter. Now I can keep on going with this or I can say clear all and that'll bring everything back again. Okay, good. Now everything is back. Now, a couple things that I mentioned uh, recently, I want to talk about those now. I want to talk about the categories and also how to flag the email for follow-up. Let's do the categories first. So, now you can make up your own categories and I'll show you how to do that. So, if I look at that email, notice how there's a, a column that says categories there. Now, I'm going to right-click on that box and then...